Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we're going to talk about how we can change the speed and change the rotation direction of a DC motor. Okay. In previous videos we found out that if we change the voltage level, uh, the DC motor will change its speed. Yeah? And we have used this setup here in a previous version uh, where we have a switching element this is a transistor. If I plug it in, the motor will start to turn. Okay? And we have also found out that if we change the polarity, so if we just change the connection direction plus and minus of the motor, yeah, and then we it is turning in a different direction, exactly the opposite direction. Yeah? So what we need is that we change the polarity and the voltage level. Uh, the voltage level we, we realized we can do with PWM, pulse width modulation. And the direction, well, with this one transistor, this is not enough. We would need a so-called H-bridge. Okay? And I'm going to explain you what an H-bridge is. And we have an H-bridge. This is this L. 293D motor driver. Okay. We'll have a look how this is working. Yeah. Sheet of paper, tell you. So an H bridge is what we need, I've said. What is an H bridge? Well, let's start. Yeah. I will draw simply here the motor. Okay. So this is the sign of a motor. two connections of the motor yeah. and we want to have this motor turn this way or this way. Okay. In both ways it should be possible. Okay. We have somewhere here a uh, power supply of the motor. Okay? And we have somewhere here ground. Alright? Now, if I do it like that, that I make here a switch and here a switch and I put a close both switches, yeah, the motor turns in one direction. Alright? And I can do it like that I can do exactly the same plus VCC in the other direction, the other side. If I close those two, the voltage is this way. If I open those two, there is no voltage. If I close those two, the voltage is this way and it will turn in the other direction. All right? This is an H bridge yeah? because it has the sh shape of an H yeah? and an H bridge can be used to turn in this direction or in this direction yeah? and if I'm pulsing the frequency or if I'm pulsing the, the power supply doesn't matter in which direction I can even select the speed of the motor all right and we said we have to use uh, free running diodes. Yeah? So those diodes that we cannot simply turn off. Yeah? And those free running diodes, they are usually located somewhere here at the at the switches. Yeah? So right now it just looks as I would short circuit it. However, we want just to short circuit it in one specific direction. Yeah? And this is, of course, the other direction than it usually runs. If here is higher voltage than here, this diode will block and we have to wait until this is closed. If here is higher voltage than here, we can still transfer. So these are the free running diodes. Okay? This is how an H-bridge is working. 
Not too complicated, right? We do have an H bridge in our Arduino starter kit. Yeah? So there is somewhere, there is somewhere these two ICs and one of them is the L293D. Okay. This even contains two different H bridges. All right. So there is one side an H bridge and the second side an H bridge. And also these free running diodes, they are already built in. I only have to tell if I'm closing this or not. All right. Yeah. If I'm closing this and opening this, we cannot even select to close this and not this. Yeah. Both. Right. So what are the connections there? Big connections are the middle ones here, these. These are connected to ground. All right. Then we have the power supplies. Yeah. One power supply is here. That's VCC1. Okay. This is the power supply of the internal logic. Logic power supply, 5 volts. All right. And here we have VCC2. Yeah. This is the power supply of the motor. This one. Yeah, I will also write here, here VCC2. Yeah, that this fits together. This is the power supply of the motor. And this can be, in this case, we can be between 4.5 and up to 36 volts, I think. I have to look in the data sheet. 36 volts, yes. Quite high, right? So this thing can switch 36 volts. Good. And then we would have this point, yeah? This one. This is here. Here we are connecting the motor. Make the motor black. And then we have, on the other hand, we have this, this here. Ah, use a thinner, this here. This is here. All right, this is here. And we have to select if we want to turn it in that direction or in that direction. Yeah. So this here, this here is called 1Y, this is called 2Y. And this is 1 Control, if I put here high, yeah, this will get the VCC2. Yeah? All right. So this is between 0 or 5 volts. Yeah? To turn on this to VCC2. And here we have 2A. This is also 0 and 5 volts. Yeah? Here we can select if we turn this to 4.5 or 36 volts. Yeah? So if I'm making here 5 volts and here 0 volts, we will, we will move in this direction, the current. If I put here 5 volts and here 0 volts, we will move in this direction, the current. Okay? But this is not everything we need. We would also have here is an enable. Yeah? 1 and 2 Enable. Only if I place here, this is also 0 and 5 volts, only if I place here a 1, this will happen. All right? So this on one side, this is a complete H bridge. Okay? On the other side, it's just mirrored. Yeah? So we have here a 3A and a 3Y. Yeah? And we have here 
a 4y and a 4a. We could place another motor here. Would be possible to use two motors. And we can also have here 0, 5 volt or here 0 and 5 volt. It's working exactly the same way as before. And also here we have here a 3, 4 enable, also 0 and 5 volt. Okay. This is how this little thing here can help us to control the motor. Yeah. Those diodes, they're also built in. I don't want to have to take care about this. I just use this working. Yeah. Uh, not only that we can switch motors, yeah. we could also use this, for instance, to switch a relay, something like this. Yeah. Then we're using here, for instance, this is a 24 volt relay. Yeah? Then we're using here 24 volt. Here we're enabling the output back and we switch with 24 volt a relay and switch a big motor somewhere on or off or a heater or whatever. Yeah? So this, this thing is called motor driver, but can be used to switch any inductive load. Yeah? This is how an H-bridge is working. Okay? Now we have a look, we will now use this L293D and see if it's really working like I just said. Okay, so we know now how this L293 is going to be connected. So we try it, okay? I will place this simply, I will start simply somewhere at uh, 45, why not? Plug it in. I will use the banks 1 and 2. Well, we have to turn off this here. Yeah. Uh, one power supply is the Logix power supply. Okay. And one power supply is the motor power supply here. Yeah. Then we said we have to use quite a lot of grounds. So these middle connectors. I will also plug it the above ones to ground. Need one cable. Ground. Okay, so now we have the power supply. Alright. And then we need one enable huh? this is this one this is the enable pin i put it to ground huh? then we have to connect the motor huh? so i will plug in here on ones on one i will plug plus huh? and on two output of two i will plug minus okay and then we only need two which colors I will make? Black and white. Yeah, black and white. Why not? So white is one. Put to ground. And black is direction two. Put to ground. Okay. Good. Now, I will power this up and hope nothing is smoking. Good, nothing is smoking. I will now place one to five volts and two to ground. And now I will enable this. You see it's turning in one direction. Yeah. Disable. 
was this direction. All right. Now I will play black uh, one to ground and two to plus five volt. Enable. Now we see it's going in the other direction. This this direction now. Again the other one. This direction. Huh? So you see, we can select in which direction this is moving. All right? By putting the corresponding inputs to to ground or plus five volt. Huh? And with enable we can turn on and off. So if we put the boost with modulation signal and enable, we can select the the uh, voltage level. Yeah. And with this we can select the direction. So with one side, one side is a complete H bridge. Yeah. With one side we can control the motor as we wish. All right? Yeah. So this is how this is working. And what I've just said, we can control the motor. We have here now three inputs. Yeah? The enable, direction one, direction two. Those three inputs we will put to our Arduino. Yeah? And our Arduino will then control the direction and speed of the motor. This will be done in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.